we want to be free. And we want to have a good time. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a good time. We're going to have a party. Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Miles Haley. And I'm Michael Smith. Today is Tuesday, February 3rd, and we're here with your morning announcements. Make sure to donate to Cancer Society so we can see who will shave a limb or even their heads. The Battle of the Sexist Rally is in a few weeks, so fill up those donation bottles. Attention juniors, if you're interested in signing up for AP Economics next year, please stop, stop by one of the information sessions this week to learn more about the class, expectations, and summer work. The information sessions will take place in Ms. Raisin's, Ms. Raisin's room, HN1, today at 3.15, tomorrow at 8.30, and Thursday at 3.15. Attention all seniors, the Senior Panorama is this Thursday, February 5th. The picture will be taken during Wolfpack Hour on the football field. Please wear either your senior class shirt or senior sweatshirt from this year. Don't have a senior shirt or sweatshirt? Then any navy or gray top that says Consume This Oaks on it will work as well. Please be aware that we only have Wolfpack Hour to take the photo. If the photo is delayed past 1016 on Thursday, then the photo will not be taken and there will not be a makeup day. So Miles, do you suffer from a severe case of senioritis? So I've had senioritis since freshman year. Now let's see about, see, let's hear from some students who has had this disease before. And now a brief message from your concerned fellow classmates. Term three, senior year is almost halfway done. This means an epidemic, senioritis, a supposed affliction of students in their final year of high school or college characterized by a decline in motivation or performance. Symptoms include a hard time getting out of bed in the morning, negative attitude about homework and school projects, And finally, apathy towards their future. You're almost done, seniors. Don't be the reason why you can't graduate. Now let's pass one over to John and Tristan for your weekly news update. Hey there, Wolfpack. I'm John Timmons. And I'm Tristan Lloyd, and we're here with your In the News announcements. Recently, it's been revealed that Russia's economy has contracted so much and its inflation has risen to such a degree that the capital city has been reported as having resorted to dropping the price of vodka by 16%. The move seems designed to appease angry Russians who have had their wages hurt by economic turmoil and, as such, drink quite a bit of alcohol. It might just seem like a tired stereotype, I know, but studies have shown that the average Russian consumes almost 14 liters of vodka per year, seven times more than that consumed by Americans. In the past, vodka prices have actually been tripled to prevent the extraordinarily high mortality rate within the nation, but the rise of bootleg alcohol sales and the need to increase tax revenue has apparently won out on this one. A fire in Russia has consumed more than one million historic documents inside the Institute for Research Information on Social Sciences. According to the Russian Emergency Situations Ministry, 147 firefighters struggled for 25 hours over the weekend to put out the blaze, which ripped through 2,000 square meters of building and caused part of the roof to collapse. Founded in 1918, the library is the biggest social science research center in Russia, holding around 14 million documents, including some works dating back to the 16th century. The Emergency Situations Ministry says it's not yet clear what started the fire, but they're looking as to whether or not a short circuit was to blame. Well, that seems to be all we have for you today, but until next time, I'm Tristan Lloyd. And I'm John Timmons. Back to you, Miles and Michael. Attention all sophomores who are interested in taking AP U.S. History next year. Please attend one of the following informational meetings. Tomorrow at 3.20, Wednesday at 8.30, and Thursday at 3.20. All meetings will be held in room HN6 and they will last approximately 15 to 20 minutes. 
Remember to look for the labeled bins in the cafeteria today to recycle your empty juice pouches in order to raise money for charities and nonprofit organizations by the Environmental Club. Blood drive signups are going on and we're encouraging everyone interested to sign up. Bring your consent form to the table at lunch and sign up for when you want to donate blood on February 12th. Help us reach our goal of donating 90 pints of blood. The last day to sign up is Friday the 6th. Remember, you must be 16 years or old, older to donate. Hey clubs out there, the food fair forum deadline is being pushed back. There will be now due on, the fr on Friday, February 6th in the activity zoom. If you do not have a food fair form, you can pick them up in the activity zoom. Juniors interested in taking AP government your senior year, attend one of the following meetings in HN7 to find out more. The meetings are today after school at 3.20 and tomorrow before school at 8.30. Interested in joining the COHS AVID program? Applications are available in the Student Services and are due to Ms. Ramos in HL2 by Friday, February 20th. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Ramos. Now let's hear what Angel has to say about our junior prom. Good morning, junior class. My name is Angel Torres, and I'm the junior class governor, and I'm here to talk to you guys about our junior prom this year. It'll be held on March 7th at the Grand Island Mansion, and we will be selling tickets for $90 in the student store starting next week. We're going to have an awesome DJ, great food, and it'll be a fun time to enjoy the night with your best friends and to celebrate and enjoy as a class. As for transportation to the Grand Island Mansion, unfortunately, no students will be able to drive. You will only be able to be driven by a parent, a bus or a limo and if you don't have access to any of these options then we will be providing free buses the next thing on our agenda is um, we will stop selling tickets on february 20th so i suggest when tickets go out next week you guys start buying because it is on a first come first serve basis i hope to see you guys attend our junior prom it'll be a blast and i hope to see you guys all attend nhs you are not having your picture taken today please meet on the steps of the pac tomorrow morning at 8 15 a.m for the yearbook picture you must be on time and wearing either your NHS t-shirt or sweatshirt in order to be in the picture. Link Crew, your yearbook photo is tomorrow morning at 8.40 a.m. on the steps of the PAC. To be included in the photo, just be sure to be wearing your t-shirt and be there on time. No t-shirt, no photo. See Ms. Winslow today if you have a t-shirt issue. Attention all juniors, if you're interested in taking senior AP literature and composition next year, please come to an informational meeting tomorrow either before school at 8.30 a.m. or after school at 3.15 in Mrs. Rose's room HE4. The meeting will last approximately 20 minutes. Hey club advisors and presidents, club picture day is today. A list of all the clubs who are listed for their picture will be on the school website. Advisors, for picture day, your students must have a pass with their student's name, the name of the club that they are in, the time of the club's photo, and it must be signed by you. When filled out, the students must hold on to the pass and present it to their teacher today to leave. Any students without a pass will be sent back to class, no exceptions. The photo will be taking place at the PAC stairs. Environmental Club's Food for Friends project is still going strong, and they have set up a food sharing table in the cafeteria where you can place your unwanted and unopened and unopened food. Food is left at the food that is left at the end of the day will be donated to Elk Grove Food Bank. So remember today at lunch, don't dump, donate. Auditions for Wolfpack Vocal Ensemble will be held after school today if you're interested in singing with this group next year. Applications for the broadcasting pathway are available and due on Friday. Please see Mr. Youngs or Mrs. Wright for more information. Well, that's all we've got for you today. I'm Miles Haley. And I'm Michael Smith. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Don't get sick by Miles today, wolf pack. Our song on the radio, but it don't sound the same. When our friends talk about you, all it does is just tear me down. Because my heart breaks a little. When I hear your name, it all just sounds like ooh.